I think we're excited about playing uh, Ole Miss. Congratulations to Ole Miss for making it too, as well as us. And uh, looking for the opportunity to uh, uh, play the great game we love, but it's baseball. As, as fans of the game yourself, besides playing the game, uh, what do you admire about your opponent, uh, Mississippi? Just thoughts on, on their style of play, the student athletes that you'll be playing the next three days. Jimmy, you start. They're a great group of, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, any team that makes it here, they're going to be, they're going to be awesome. I mean, we're going to have to respect them and we're going to, you know, just stick with our game plan and do our thing. No, yeah, they're um, in a lot of ways similar to us. You know, they, they do a lot of small things well. Um, they got power in the lineup. Um, you know, they're a really good ball club. Um, they've been playing with a chip on their shoulder, you know, just like we have. You know, nobody, they were in question for regional and, you know, they're 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 here to make a statement just like we are. So they're going to be tough, um, but you know we're going to be ready for it. Does it seem like Ole Miss's journey has kind of been similar to your guys, and and has that been something y'all thought about at all in terms of getting to this moment? Oh no doubt. I mean, like he said, they have a chip on our shoulder on their shoulder, and so do we. Um, yeah, they they had a real tough journey. They were the last four in, and they've been battling their way all the way here. Same with us. So, I mean. We, we take into consideration, yes, but I mean, we're just, like I said, we're just going to stay composed and do our thing. And, you know, we're going to respect our opponent and we're just going to stick with our game plan. Yep, Ole Miss has pitched it so well this postseason. What have you seen from them in your scout or even just watching games here that's allowed them to have that success? Yeah, I mean, they they, they pitch fearless. They, they pound the strike zone. They do a good job. You know, Coach Bianco has been around for a long time. He understands that environment. He's a really, really good coach and runs a great program. And so it's it's who they are, that what they do. They had I mean they were number one team in the country when we started I mean look at it. I mean they what how many people y'all got coming to your games thousands and thousands and thousands I mean you know you look at the environment what they play in this environment's not any bigger environment that they play in at home all the time and so uh, um, he does a great job and it's fun to be on the other side watching it's gonna be fun coaching against him okay Michael Michael Katz, Daily Journal. I think Jimmy and Tanner alluded to a little bit, but can you just talk about the similarities between your team and Ole Miss and just sort of the, the journey that you guys have had this year? Well, John said it best. I mean, you look at the journey, they've been told, you know, they might not get in or might get in or whatever. They're going to fire Bianco or whatever. That was a joke. I mean, it's uh, it's incredible because that guy's been um, – last year they're wanting – you know, LSU's wanting to hire him. And it, it's it's really what we live in our world in, in coaching and baseball every day. You're only as good as your last outing, you know, which is uh, uh, not good. And uh, um, I think the similarities are uh, – they're really talented. And we've got some talented folks in the middle of our field as well. Uh, their shortstop's really good. Chick catcher's really good. Um, and bench plays with his heart. We have guys that do the same thing. Pit, their pitching's been really good. Uh, our starting pitching's been really good. They've played with a chip on their shoulder ever since they got in. It's been fun to watch those guys. They played against a good um, Southern Miss team. Scott Berry's a great friend of mine. Um, you know, I had one of the best players I've ever had, best player I've ever seen in my life. Uh, died in 2001. His name was Brian Coe. He played for me at Navarro in 1998. I don't know if you guys know a lot about who Brian Coe is, but he he was a pretty special person. And uh, uh, he's from Mississippi, and, and I had a lot of good friends. Corky from Meridian, Meridian Mississippi, so it's a, a good fit. You've spoken about Mike, and I know you were both in Omaha in 2014. I'm wondering if, uh, if you guys have any other previous connections before uh, this week in Omaha. Well, um, Coach McDonald coached for him at uh, um, Ole Miss when he's the head coach at Louisville. And when I was at Navarro, they would come over and uh, uh, and recruit our players. I mean, when I was at Navarro, so that's really the only uh, action I've had really with Coach Bianco. And so, I mean, I've always, you know, you go out and you watch the things that he's done, and you respect the things that he's done as a head coach and how he handles his business and and you know. Um, I think his son made the last out against a no hitter against LSU uh, in 2020, and it was a rocket hit in the six hole, and Zaragoza backhand and throw across the infield, and you could see you could see the uh, both his sons are really good players, and, and it's been fun to watch those guys and, and watch him coach as a as a leader and a person that he is. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.